Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Glad to have you with us for another video from Michael Jackson today. We've got Billie Jean live from Munich 1997. We did Munich 1997 on the last one that we did was Smooth Criminal, which was great. Really cool introduction to seeing Michael Jackson perform live for me for the first time. And, um, you know, have heard a little bit of Michael Jackson's catalog. Obviously, this one is you know legendary song so um, know this one but never seen it performed live as well but you guys told us stick with the Munich one because apparently it's a great one to check out and uh, he did such a phenomenal job on the last one with Smooth oh, Criminal yeah, I killed we it. thought why not stick with this one I know, right? so good and uh, so you, have you ever seen him perform this one before Billie Jean live no so it'll be the first time for both of us then. yeah alright cool well we uh, hope you guys have enjoyed our reactions if you've checked them out already. And uh, if you haven't, we'd love to have you subscribe and check out our videos as they come along because we've got lots and lots and lots and lots on the go. So uh, we'd love to have you as a part of the community. Yes, come join us. Yeah. All right. You ready for some Michael Jackson? Yeah, let's do it. Let's so get our groove on. Sparkly outfit. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited that from the last one, so he better be wearing the same <laughs> cool clothes in this one. Yeah. Outfit. <laughs> I feel like sparkly clothes is just his signature. Yeah, I th he, and that's normally he's got his sequins yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, I but love I, it. You got it. You asked for it, asking you, we shall receive. I manifested it. <laughs> Ready to go.
I love his dancing. He's so into it. Yeah, he's, you know, great vibe the whole way through, right? Yeah. Bringing that energy. Like, the obviously, the buildup was great. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people bring up the hat. Everybody starts going, oh, they've seen the hat. <laughs> it's like build up with the jacket. Yeah. And they got the glove. Yeah, and... Um, it makes me wonder, though, like, well, like, how did he come to fruition with this whole style that he has that he's so iconic for? Yeah, it's, you know, creativity, right? As yeah, a, from it. an artistry standpoint. I am a little bit... I don't really understand because we heard the... It sounds like he's wearing tapping tap dance shoes, mm -hmm. right? Or that's what it sounded like in the yeah, intro. Yeah, like, clack, clack. Yeah, so I don't really see them using that in this performance, so I'm not sure. Maybe there's an audio dub or something like that but yeah, maybe. anyways um focusing on the performance aspect you know like you said he brought out his his uh his um costume mm -hmm. and you know built it up and then got right into it bringing that energy it's a fantastic song everybody's vibing out in the audience so it's uh just cool to see him do his thing yeah i love like you know how he because there's so much in a live performance when you're doing a choreographed dance mm -hmm. Plus, you know, your performance, right? Like your your singing and everything else. I feel like it's like it's so impressive for me to see a performer do a full blown choreographed dance with their performance as well, mm -hmm. like their vocal performance. Yep. And it's also just so cool because I feel like he's had such an influence with his dance on um, and his performing skills on other later artists, right? Like you see it like within Usher and like Chris Brown. Like, yeah, we mentioned that yeah. in the last video. So right? it's just so cool to see more of that, right? Like more of his dancing skills. Yeah. <laughs> Will not to vibe out to the song. I know, <laughs> and I love the passion and like on his face, like he's just like giving her. Yeah, it's um, it's just a, such a classic song, and it must have been a great, uh, you know, being being able to witness this live must have been a great atmosphere, great mm -hmm. energy. Oh yeah. Um, you know, you can tell everybody's really having a blast <laughs> dancing in the audience as well. So you know, I'm sure if you're yeah. a fan of MJ at the time and him maybe traveling to Europe, which. You know, we've talked about a few other artists mm -hmm. that that doesn't always happen. But I, I think from actually what I remember I, I reading about 
with Michael Jackson and his tour. I think he did travel quite a bit throughout Europe and especially in Germany. Hmm. Um, I think he's like he got a pretty strong fan grouping there. Cool. So you guys can let us know in those yeah. comments. Yeah, uh, you're all not... wild when he did a little moonwalk. <laughs> you see, you know, you can you can just see. He's got his own flavor. Oh yeah, the way he does it, like everybody yeah. can. Not everybody can do a moonwalk, but it's it's not like it's an impossible dance move to do. But he's just the first person that make it so you know vibrant, energetic, and throw it into his performance alongside the music at the right times. And yeah. you know, like in, you know when he's pointing and like saying, <laughs> you know, adding in his ad libs and stuff like yeah, that. Like, Woo! A little bit like you know people like to compare MJ and Elvis and like say who's the king and all that kind of yeah. stuff, right? I don't like to get into that that no, aspect, they but. Both have like their own complete flair I but think. I think there are some similarities in that like you know <laughs> the hip thrusting but you know the pointing yeah. and like the adding a little bit of flair and yeah, flavor the here, and you know but they're both la- they're both amazing entertainers right yeah I love so. them both yeah. are you ready to finish her up with see what he's gonna bring I feel like we're we've been going a little while here so I'm interested to see what the last you know yeah. couple of minutes are gonna look like do it <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> trying People to get, go wild for the hat. Trying to get paid with that hat. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's probably worth a lot of money. It's kind of cool to see this live, though, because I know I mentioned in the last um, video that we did with Michael Jackson that I did, like, a whole figure skating routine to, like, a Michael Jackson um, routine one year. Yeah. And it actually, like, the whole thing started with this song, and we actually had a hat, like, how he started the song with, like, this, and, like, you know, the, like, glove and the hand and the sparkly outfit with, like, a spotlight. So it's, like, exactly how he starts his performance for the there song. There you go. You're so I never knew why. I, was, I thought it was just like part of the choreograph, but I'm like, right. it's literally how he starts this performance. You're channeling your inner MJ. Here we are, like 20 years later, Still and I'm like, relevant. cool. You're just learning everything new. You learned about the Three Stooges. I know. You learned about Michael Jackson, although we might not have a little Three Stooges one up, but yeah. anyways, you learn something new every day. She's learning stuff about yeah. her past, so that's really cool. And uh, he killed it in that last, that's so good. That last three minutes. Uh, you know, we said, what is he gonna do? And that was, I think, for me, the coolest part was yeah. watching that. Um, because you never really see artists do that anymore anyway, was, especially for that long. Like, it was a you know, very large portion of the performance was just him doing his dance thing. And it was so cool the way he composed it. And I'd know. be really curious to know if that's actually, like, to a T choreographed or if he kind of just, like, freestyles it a little bit. And, like, I think it's probably thing. choreographed. I yeah. think he probably... He, you know, has done it a few times now, probably throughout his, his yeah, tour there. and stuff. So, um, I think also, you know, we talked a little bit about the moonwalk, and and you mm -hmm. know, again, you just saw his own flair and his own flavor. Yeah. It was so clean, so crisp, oh, and, yeah. and uh, adding this little slide in there as well. <laughs> but um, Love it. you just, you know, obviously, you, you see why he's renowned from the entertainment oh, yeah. and performing standpoint. You can't take your eyes off him. Hmm? So you can't even take your eyes off. Yeah, him. yeah, no, that's it. You, you're watching him the whole time because he's always doing something. You don't know what to expect, right? <laughs> and uh, he does things differently, right? He's unique. He's creative. He's an artist. So it's it's really cool to see, you know, the talent that was. A, it's a long time ago now. I can't believe that it's 1997. Yeah, it's wild. It's uh, 26 years ago, right? So, um, but got to witness it you know it took us a little while to get there but we got to witness billy jean live totally worth it i wish i'd been able to see it live in person oh i know that would have awesome. been a great great atmosphere like i said well you enjoyed it i loved it and you brought you back to your childhood fun. memories yeah i did like i said i learned something new which is cool there you go all right well i hope you enjoyed yeah. our reaction to billy jean live by michael jackson in munich if you did hit that like button for us we've got another michael jackson video up as well from smooth criminal if you want to check that out and we've got lots of other content in terms of music sports comedy so uh, if you want to subscribe and join the journey that we're on we'd love to have you all right that's it from us today we'll be back soon thanks for watching guys see you in the next one